these are undirected graphs that means without retracing the graph circuit is a closed path closed path means what the starting vertex point and ending vertex point should be same in which vertices and graph are divided into two sets example group 1 and group 2 so here we have g1 g2 and g3 three graphs number of vertices and edges are same hello everyone i am shweta computer science faculty in my previous session i have discussed about removal of vertex and an edge and also i have discussed about walk path cycle circuit and open walk closed walk trail and circuit so today i will explain the new concept called euler graph that means eulerian graph so what is this eulers or eulerian graph eulerian graph or eulers graph is a graph in which we draw the path between every vertices we have a path between every vertices without retracing the path these are undirected graphs that means without retracing the graph that means we we should not use this again without retracing the graph is called as eulerian graph that means we draw the path between every vertices without retracing the path that means i'll write an example without retracing means this path is called as without retracing because already i have drawn this from v1 to v2 v2 to v3 and v3 to v1 so this is an example for eulers graph because without retracing the edge without retracing the path i have drawn this graph right so if you are drawing this again v1 to v2 v2 to v3 v3 to v1 again v1 to v2 and v2 to v4 means this is not a eulers graph because i have repeated this twice without retracing the path means that is called as eulerian graph so now it is an example for eulerian graph example for eulerian graph you just observe this graph i'll draw this again so here observe this i am not retracing this again so this is an example for eulerian graph because i have not retraced again because i have started from this point a to b b to g again i am not retracing the path so this is an example for eulerian graph without retracing the path is called as eulerian graph so this is also an example for eulerian graph that means without retracing the path here i have started from this point and this point again this then i reached the same path right so this is an example for eulerian graph and next one we have eulers path so what is this eulers path so this is an example for eulers path because no retracing the edges here each edge exactly once and each vertex at least once i'll draw this point a to b b to c c to a d then again here this point and this point I have not retraced I have not repeated the edges here. I have started from this point, then and then I reach the starting position. So this is an example for Euler's path. I have not retraced any edges. This is an example for Euler's. path 
I'll draw one more Euler's path. It is V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V7, V8, V9, V10, V11. I have not retraced any path here. I'll repeat. I have started from V1, V2, V3, V4, 5, 6 and the edges. I will repeat it again V1, V1 to V2, then V3, V4, V5, V6, then V1. This is an example for Euler's path. One more example. This is one Euler path. Like this, you can draw a Euler's path. You can give any other examples that it contains each edge exactly once and each vertex at least once. That is called as Euler's path. And next one, Euler's circuit. So first of all, you have to understand about circuit. What is circuit? Circuit is a closed path. Closed path means what? The starting vertex point and ending vertex point should be same. And vertex can be repeated, but edges cannot be repeated. That is called as circuit. So here, Euler's circuit. If the starting and ending vertices are same in the graph, then it is known as Euler's circuit. Clear? Starting and ending vertex should be same. Example have started from here. So ending point also same. So it is A, B, C, D. Clear? Starting point and ending point should be same and vertex can be repeated but edges cannot be repeated that is called as Euler's circuit. So it is very important question what is Euler's graph, Euler's circuit and Euler's path. You can give any other examples also. So next one is bipartile graph, bipartile. So what is this bipart? Bipart means what? Division, right? So bipart means division of graph. A bipartile graph is a simple graph in which the vertices of graph are divided into two sets. Vertices are divided into two sets called X and Y such that every vertex of set of X is connected to the vertex of set of y by an edge. There will be no edge between vertices of same set. I'll repeat. So bipartile graph is a simple graph in which vertices and graph are divided into two sets. Example, group 1 and group 2. So every vertex of set of x is connected to the vertex of set of b. That means a is connected to second vertex G1 to G2 and this vertex is connected to again the second vertex and again second vertex this is vertex A and this is vertex B and it is connected to next vertex in second group and again it is connected to the third group and again we have vertex C it is connected to another vertex called F. This is G and here H. So this is connected to I again. Again I is connected to another vertex. H is connected to another vertex. This is D and this is E. And again it is connected to I. It is connected to D. So this is called as bipartile graph because Every vertex of set X is connected to the vertex of set Y by an edge. There will be no edge between the vertices of same edge. Clear? This is an example for bipartal graph. Just two marks question. So next is isomorphism. So very important concept is isomorphism. Example for isomorphism. The number of components means vertices and edges are same. Then we can consider it as is a isomorphism. So number of edges and vertices should be same. We have five vertices and edge one. E1, this is E1 and this is E2 and this is E3 and this is E4 
and this is E5. So how many vertices? We have five vertices and five edges. Clear? So here also we have one, two, three, four, five vertices and edges E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5. This is an example for isomorphism. So G is equivalent to G dash. So both the vertices and edges are same. This is called as isomorphism, very important concept and some other examples for isomorphism. So here we have G1, G2 and G3, three graphs, number of vertices and edges are same. V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V7 and V8. So it is E1, E2, E3, E4. How many vertices? 8 when vertices and E1, E2, E3, E4 and this is E5, E6, E7 and E8. So totally, so totally 8 vertices and 8 edges. So here V1, V2, V3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And next example, V1, V2, V3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So here we have E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7 and E8. This E2, E3, E4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So totally we have 8 vertices and 8 edges. So this is an example for isomorphism. So isomorphism means the number of vertices and edges are same. That is called as isomorphic. So today you learned the concept of Eulerian graph and Eulerian path and Eulerian circuit. Very important concept and also you learned the concept of bipartite graph and isomorphism. Clear? So in my next session I will come with a new concept in graph theory. Thank you.